If you want to speed up your workflow and discover hidden gems in Reason 13 and below, you're in the right place. These five tricks will change how you use Reason, especially if you're not a vet and you're just getting started and trying to pick up the pieces. Let's get started with blocks mode. If you go into the sequencer, you'll find that this is where blocks live. However, it's hidden now and you have to toggle it. So in order to toggle it, you're gonna go up to options and you're clicking enable blocks. And now you can make your beats, your songs in song mode and block mode. And block mode will give you up to 32 different sections to create different patterns in. So now I have a reversed version of my pattern in block mode. And if I go to song mode, I can draw out these blocks. So this is block one. And anything on top of it will overwrite it. So I'll move this over and let you see the overwriting process. So I can have alternate sections within these blocks and alternatively, I can use them as song markers. So for example, if I wanted to arrange my song, I could use this as the intro. I could use block two as the hook. And then I could come into song mode and arrange my song so that I know what I'm looking for with these blocks. Chorus verse you can also change the color of these blocks if you like to have a certain color theme or you like your clips and your tracks to match you can right click and change the color just like that you can also do the same thing with these track color we can right click and convert the blocks into song clips so now we have access to the song clips on top you can also do that here if you right click on the track, you can convert your blocks to song clips if you have multiple blocks with information in them. Blocks make rearranging different sections of your song way easier and it's perfect for beat makers who like to experiment with different instruments for different sections. Next, I wanna show you some hidden automation curve options. So I'm gonna come into this all things run combinator here, which is from a reason pack and we can check and see which pack it is. It's from the R&B Keys Reason Pack. Let's create an automation clip. I'm gonna do this with the wobble because I want to create an intro that has a wobble effect. Now we're gonna create our automation clip here. Double click in this clip, and if we click once with the pencil tool, we'll get a straight line. All right, pretty cool, but we can also add some shapes. So of course you might know what basic automation is, but you can hold down the option button on a Mac or control on a Windows, and you can get these little squares. So we can add more intricate automation. So for example, let's say I wanna ramp this a little bit. So I'm gonna move it this way. Now we can make these curve. So it doesn't have to just be squares and straight lines. We could do the same thing for this area. Of course, you can add more of this. You can even come in and just draw something crazy and it'll automatically clean it up for you. You can also right click and clean up the automation by a certain amount, minimum, normal, heavy, or maximum. Maximum takes out a lot more of those points for you if you like a cleaner look. Another thing you can do with these automation clips is reverse them. So if you right click, you can reverse the automation. Now automation curves and automation clips can save time by making your transitions less abrupt without drawing in multiple points. So that's the beauty of curves, clean up, and adding those automatic shapes with the squares. Now, within every version of Reason, everybody knows that there are effects devices. There's reverb, chorus, a flange, or distortion, compressors, etc. But a lot of people don't access these more hidden effects located in the browser. So in order to get to those, we're gonna go to the browser, 
Reason Library, Reason Factory Sound Bank, and we're going to see all effect patches. And now we have all of these different folders full of effects that aren't rack devices. So for example, let's choose this gating and chopper effect and put it on my drums. Going to use the attack cutter. Close. And this uh, F50 was something I already had in there. This is a rack. But it added this alligator patch for us. So without it, with it, you can stack a bunch of these effects on your sound and create something completely different. So with these drums, you see I've added a beat repeater. I can also add some multi effects. Let's see uh, this bit filter. We could stack one more effect on this. Let's go into the modulation folder. And let's use the panner to replace that first synchronous. And now we have a cool animated underwater sounding drum pattern that started off as this. Tip number four is something cool. Reason's one-shot folders have tons of vintage synth samples that are really easy to miss. Now we're gonna go into our browser and once again, Reason Library, Reason Factory Sound Bank. Now we have a list of every single folder within the Reason Factory Sound Bank. So if you're using Reason 13, you can click on this samples shortcut and it'll filter all of these folders for samples. But if you're not using Reason 13, then you can just click on the individual folders and see what's inside of them. So for example, let's start with the NNXT sampler patches. At first, you'll see the SXT files. Those are native to the NNXT sampler. So all of those patches work in the NNXT. But if you scroll down, you'll see the individual folders with sample folders inside of them. Now, if you wanna access some more vintage samples, then you're just gonna look at these names that show up, but this is base. So what we wanna do is come down to our synths. We have a synth base here, and down here, we have some samples from the Prophet. If we open up synth lead, we have some Impoly. MS-20. Open up the synth poly folder. J60. JP4. So... J60 is the Juno 60, whereas JP4 is the Jupiter 4 synth. So you'll see these little initials that include those synth one shots. There's more in the NN19 folder, synth and keyboard. We got some Mellotron stuff in here. It says Mel Choir. <laughs> And you may be able to recognize some of these synth names. Here is our synth raw elements folder. We got ARP 2600 samples, ARP Odyssey, the Insonic, Korg MS20, Poly6, Mini Moog, Prophet 5, Yamaha CS80, Roland SH101, and more. So definitely. Don't sleep on Reason's factory sounds. I know a lot of people are selling one-shot kits that are samples of vintage synths, and that's really cool. But just remember that you do have access to some within Reason already in the stock folders. These stock folders give you easy and free, if you already own Reason, access to authentic vintage tones without needing external plugins or having to buy sample packs that sample these exact synthesizers. 
Tip number five is something that some people don't know about, but it might help you out when you're noticing some latency and lagging in your beat production, but you don't know what it's coming from, especially if you're using a lot of plugins. So in order to monitor what is using your CP usage, you can go up to options, show CPU load for devices. And this will show percentages of everything and how much of your CPU load it is taxing. This will help you avoid crashes and optimize performance when your track is loaded with devices like mine often is. If these tips helped you out, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Reason Hidden Gems. I'll see you for the next one.